Hey guys, I'm going to try this again. Um, in the last video, I said that um, I'd be right back and I'm going to show you some more stuff. Well, the last video died. About, I don't know, two or three hours into an upload, computer just fritzed. It was able to save that much video. So, I uploaded it and decided to make this video into several parts. Um, probably, the reason probably crashed is it was like 30 some minutes of video altogether. Ended up having to redo parts of it, so there'll be three parts in this video um, to go through armatures. This section here is going to cover making wire. Uh, make, just making a wire skeleton. So, yeah, sorry about the link to this right here and continuing parts and the messed up video from the last one. So, here we go with this one. Stay tuned. Here comes some wire. Let's get something okay, to Okay, guys, in this section, like I said, we're going to work going um, a thin gauge wire. You see, this wire here is a. Um, uh, 26 gauge jeweler's wire to make um, earrings and necklaces and such. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to pull off, say, a foot or so, give you a nice little length. Um, there's a good length. And just clip it so that you can work with it without making a lot of racket. Okay. So. Just clip off about a foot of wire. Um, here later on, once we get good at doing this, where we're not really worried about money wise, but you can go into a um, bigger um, the actual armature wires. But for what we're doing at this scale, this wire should work fine. Um, for the expense wise, because the the armature wire itself will be expensive compared to like a you know, buck 50 for 300 feet. You might get, you know, 20 feet for five bucks. So, you know, this right here works fine. So, what we're going to do is, like I said, I pulled off a little over a foot of wire just to have for some extra. What we'll do is bring it down to one end and just basically split it in the middle. Taking, start you a loop, and then just twist it. You, there's not really any number of twists you're wanting to do or anything like that. Just semi-tight, not enough to, you know, break the wire or anything. Let me adjust this focus a little bit. Sorry, but I didn't realize it was blurry. But yeah, just make some twists down and get something like that going. And take and just basically make the end of the neck right, like something like that. You don't worry if it's a little bent or crooked, and you can always fix that. So when you get your little like this, figure you go out inch and a half or so, and just make you another loop. Bring it back to the shoulder. Like I say, right now we're not worrying so much about scaling. We're just trying to twist up an armature. So now you've got something along those lines. Then what you do is take that piece you just made. Now you say we're you can see where the twist and stuff is to lock in your twist bring it over the other piece pull it down a little tight go to the other side go off about an inch and a half and 
remove this one when you bring it back. Might go ahead and just hook it that way you remember. Hook it around. Get you something like that going. And then start twisting again. And then you'll come up with something along this. Then what you do is get your remaining bits and doing it where you hooked over the shoulder to help lock it in a little bit. You can uh, just sort of fit it you know, back into the to the piece you just tied. That'll help keep it tight so it doesn't spin on you. Pull out another loop. And twist it. What you want to do is from here where your, your point is, make sure you hold it tight when you twist. This way it doesn't just break the wire underneath. Take your third one or your fifth one. Do the same. Just sort of loop it back in through your original wire so that you can keep it good and tight. Pull off say where I looped it through. That way you can keep it good and tight. And bring up another one. And you'll have that. Then we're going to work on the backbone where you'll just take the two you just made T come up you've basically got an armature now you want to do a couple little things to it from this end like your little sharp bits, just sort of pull them back into the to the bot to the wire so that you're not poking yourself with the sharp ends. So now we'll start looking into the scale. Um, this right here is just going to be over big, but um, for 28 millimeter. But I think say just practice a few of these. That'll give you a base to work off of. But we'll just basically bend it something like that. That way we know this will be okay. That way we know this right in through here will be roughly your collarbone shoulder area. And this will be the hip groin. And as a standard deal, what we'll do from here is figure our shoulder width. Basically, on a scale, if you're looking at it, um, you can always take like a marine body or something like that. You know, all of us has got those laying around, and you just sort of lay it over. And you can see the shoulders be about where the holes, you know, where you would uh, replace the shoulder. So, you know, you bend it at the shoulder. You'll know there's your shoulder. Oops. 
keep everything in focus and in place here. Just like that. And this sort of a reference. We know that's the hip. Oops, sorry guys. I didn't mean to make this. Lay it over. Take your hip joint, which would be there and there. Then you would have a rough humanoid shape. Then you can basically just take the arm bit or a leg bit. And we'll do the same for the other side. Like I said, that's if you're wanting to. This right here is off pretty bad because I just tied it. But it'll give you an idea of where stuff is going to lay if you want to go that way. But for right now, you know, like I say, again, just do the same thing for an arm. You just take and lay your arm out and go, like, there's the elbow. There's the elbow. You know, and you just bend it with the, with the bit. But for our purposes right now, we're just trying to make them. So you just make little stick men. you come up with a man you say well what about all this extra like the head right here no problem you just Take your handy dandy little pliers and twist it up. Or if you get one, you can just clip off what you don't need. Or, like I'll show you some examples here. Took and made a couple up earlier, like this guy here. You have a bunch left over. You can take this and into a base, yeah, and just mount him to a base so he stands well. Or, yeah, like this guy here is actually bent to scale with a normal marine. But took the extra bits, made a base for it to stand on. But like I say, scale, the way I did it was simply bent him over the ring to get the proper scale. But like I say, right now we're not worried so much about scale as just getting the general arbitrary shape. Get the, you know, to this point, once you get where you can make these fairly comfortable, start practicing making them to scale. Because like these guys, once you bake one, you can always go back and adjust it. Say like this one we just made. You know, you want to work on the scale once you get one that you can bend out that you like. It's simple. You just take and flatten him back out. You know, if we look at the scale, the, the waist is he's too long. All you'd have to do is just back it up a little bit. 
until you get sorry guys I'm fumbling this around a lot where you get the waste back to where it should be And like say, you just bend in the legs. Where your foot is. It's going to leave you with something to tie him down with. Then, of course, you can go from there and get him into a pose you like. You know, whatever, and there you go. But, like I say, from what I want, you know, you guys to basically just be able to get practice to get to that point. To where you got your, your bases for your arms, your head your hips and your legs. You can just eyeball it at first until you get used to it on scale. Then once we get to where we're actually scaling them, we'll go in and scale them out. But there's a wire version. So I'll be back with another version which will be using a heavier gauge wire to get one to sort of there. So Stay tuned. We'll come back with the part three, I suppose, of making armatures. 